Good evening, and thank you for welcoming me. Um, I bring greetings from my wife, Sandy, who was uh, here last year, but she got stuck trying to get, trying to get back uh, through Chicago when things were not, not working with the airplanes through Chicago. But she sends her greetings and her love as well. I want to mention just a couple of things. Um, I want to speak to some work we've done together on relief and the work we're doing together on education, just real quickly. And I've got to stick to my script here a little bit because we've got a few pictures to show you too. I want to express profound thanks for all, all this uh, community did on behalf of the victims of the typhoon, Typhoon Yolanda. I mean, just an incredible effort. This was no ordinary storm, it was huge. And the partnership we forged on relief and recovery is historic. You worked hard to raise funds for the relief efforts and I applaud you. And this, I got something really profound to announce. This month, we hit the million meal mark for getting Alaska salmon to victims of that disaster. You helped do that. You, the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute, my office, all taking part, coordinating effectively. It was a true partnership. Four containers, four big containers of Alaska canned salmon went to victims in the Philippines. The salmon was taken to different communities by boat and by truck to places that had been left out of the larger relief effort. Many of the relief organizations had already stopped distributing food when our Alaska salmon began to arrive, so our timing was welcomed. We learned that up to 74% of the fishermen in the central Philippines lost their main source of income. This really kind of puts puts it all together how connected we are with our fishermen and their fishermen and their families. I read of one Alaskan who fished for salmon out of Kodiak, and she helped distribute the canned salmon in the Philippines this summer as part of a team with the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute there as well. She said it may very well have been the salmon she caught last summer that she was distributing uh, this summer, helping, uh, helping those families. We also just had our first ever Alaska seafood show in Manila. With this, again, the Seafood Marketing Institute, people from my office, and Representative Kathy Munoz of Juno uh, attended. We had a lot of help from a former Alaskan, somebody on the ground in Manila, uh, Jesse Paleo. You may know him, he was from Juno. He wanted to show some appreciation for his former state and help establish those connections, those relationships uh, for the future. At home, we're working together for Alaska's young people. I mentioned education, and I want to acknowledge the importance of your AFFAs, your, just your, your, your scholarships. Uh, you just, um, you don't realize maybe, or maybe you do, but those are transformational in our young people's lives. And along with those, the Alaska Performance Scholarships that I champion, those are available to students as well. And together, I just want to work with you to continue promoting education, to continue promoting jobs for our, our young people. Uh, so that once they're done utilizing, using their scholarships uh, for job, job training, for university, that they will have the jobs and careers here uh, once they complete their education so they can work close to family here in Alaska. Uh, so in closing, I just want to just say a, just a few words of honor. I honor, and Sandy and I honor each of you. We love you, and we love the valuable contributions you make to this great land. So God bless you, and thank you.